welcome back to my channel and today's look is going to be on the look that I am wearing right here. It is a very much a flawless face, um, smoky but still bright purple eye um, and it's got like a little bit, yeah it's mostly purple but it's got some, some pinks to it too. So um, this is definitely going to look very very good on anybody with tan skin and anybody with like the lighter tan skin. Um, I don't think I would recommend it for anybody lighter than that because it could be um, something that would make you look a little bit more bruised than anything else. So this is definitely going to complement more of the tan skin. Uh, women of color it's going to look absolutely gorgeous on. Anybody with brown eyes that feel like maybe their eyes are just blah and brown and there's nothing special about them, this is going to make those big beautiful brown eyes pop. So um, yeah, I had so much fun um, creating this look. This is very similar to the look that I had, um, if you follow me on my Instagram, um, very similar to the look that I had for my birthday. I just kind of tweaked it a little bit, used um, some of the same products, but it's a little bit different um, regardless. Um, and I did a little bit more contouring than I normally do and a lot of just like brightening and just making everything look so pretty and then I just paired it with uh, a, a pretty pink lips. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! Hello beautiful people. I'm going to start by moisturizing my face using the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Moisture Creme and I'm just using my hand to place that all over the skin so that way I have my skin nice and moisturized throughout the day and I don't have any clogged pores. I'm going to clip my hair back so that way it doesn't get in my way during the application process and I'm going to start with the Maybelline Master Conceal um, Concealer and I'm going to use my fingertip to apply this where I have my under eye circles. This is a very full coverage concealer and I love using this and I just spread it with my fingertips. The warmth of my hands actually makes it a little bit easier to spread so that way it's not heavy in just one spot. It gives you a nice smooth application. Taking my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to press that into my skin to further blend into the rest of my face. And I'm also going to push that on top of my eyelid. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Moisture Tint. And this is in the shade Dark. And I'm going to use my dark damp beauty blender to stipple this all over the skin. The damp beauty blender actually shears out this foundation, but not so much to where I don't have any coverage. This moisture uh, moisturizing tint is on the heavy side so the damp beauty blender really helps blend everything and keeps everything less heavy. To set the under eyes I'm going to use the Besame Vanilla Brightening Powder on an e.l.f. small tapered brush and I'm just placing that underneath my eye socket. For my contour I am going to go in with the Kat Von D shade Light and I'm going to use the color Subconscious on my NARS Eda brush. And I'm just going to carve out the hollows of my cheek to give me a little bit more definition and give me the illusion of cheekbones. Now using the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques multi-task brush and I'm just going to brand, bronze and blend my contour shade and the bronzer together. This is going to give me a nice warm glow and I'm going to also mask my little double chin that I've got going on. Going back to the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, I'm using the shade Lyric and I'm going to finish setting that under eye with the same um, e.l.f. small tapered brush. I'm taking that also across the forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. To emphasize that contour, I'm going to place a little bit more of that Lyric underneath um, that contour. For my blush, I'm using the Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Wild Honey, and I'm taking that on a Real Techniques um, blush brush. 
For my highlight, I'm using the Hourglass Luminous Light. I'm placing that on top of my cheekbones. And I'm going to go straight into my eyes using the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. You can see that concealer started to crease a little bit, but with the primer, and I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie to just set everything, and that's going to keep my eyeshadow from creasing, and that's also going to set the, the mood for the rest of the eyeshadows. I'm taking Makeup Geek Mesmerized, no, 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 not Mesmerized, Unexpected, on a Sigma E40, and I'm just going to blend that, concentrating that on the upper crease only. This is going to be our transition shade, and it's going to make the rest of our colors blend seamlessly, so that way there is no harsh lines or edges. Now I'm going to take the Stelazi PS07 eyeshadow color on the pointed crease brush from the Real Techniques Bold Metals collection and I'm really just concentrating that on the outer and inner corners and bringing those two to meet together in the center. I'm leaving the space of uh, the center space of my eyelid open so that way we can pack on a different color later. Now I'm going to take MAC uh, Deep Dancing and Fig One and I'm going to mix those two together and I'm going to place that on the upper crease only concentrating on that upper crease area, not taking it too far into those inner and outer corners, just to blend everything and to deepen it for, to give us a nice smoky effect. I'm taking the Too Faced uh, Glitter Glue and I'm just pressing that in the center lid and taking the Inglot uh, Pure Pigment Shadow in number 50 and I'm just placing this on the center of the lid. This shade is a beautiful rose gold and it just, oh, it's so pretty. It just sparkles and it's amazing. With no additional product, I'm taking the MAC 217 and the pointed crease brush and just blending everything together so that way there, it just transitions from the glitter to the eyeshadows seamlessly. Now taking MAC Bryce Paper on a pencil brush, I'm just going to highlight that brow bone And whatever was left on my um, Sigma E40, I'm just placing whatever color, it's the Deep Dancing and Fig One mixed together, underneath the lower lash line. With the pencil brush, I am taking a little bit more of that Deep Dancing, and I am just really smoking out that lower lash line. Taking the Makeup Forever uh, eyeshadow in Eggplant on a angled brush, I'm really just hitting that lower lash line and winging it out and winging it in to create a nice um, deep purple liner. And I'm taking that pencil brush with no product and just smudging that all together. Now I'm curling my eyelashes with my Tarte. Um, eyelash curler. This is from their spring collection. And I am taking the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara to apply mascara to my lashes. Going back in with my black wing liner. This is the e.l.f. Um, black cream liner on a e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. I'm just going to create a nice uh, black wing on the upper part of my lashes. And I'm going to go in with false lashes. I don't know why it didn't show all of the um, eyeliner application, but I did the same thing to the other side. And these eyelashes are the Eyler uh, Dramatic Lashes. So these are really full, really fluffy, really, really, really nice to give this look a nice dramatic effect. For my lipstick, I'm taking the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in Kimchi Doll. And I'm just applying that on my lip. And for my lip gloss on top of it, this is Butter Cream, also from Gerard Cosmetics. It's just going to give this a little bit more of that pinky nude 
color so that way it's not so sheer and it's not it doesn't completely blend in with the rest of my face. And that does it for this tutorial. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your day, week, whatever it is you're having and I'll see you next time.